Hey, so what up guys? Matt here with Droid Tech, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the updated LifeProof Next for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. So without further ado, let's get this video started. So this time around, Autobox has acquired LifeProof, and due to that merge, Autobox has actually stopped producing the Autobox Pursuit, which is one of my favorite cases for any device. So the answer to not having the Autobox Pursuit is the LifeProof Next. So the LifeProof Next basically is LifeProof's version of the Autobox Pursuit. I've been using this case for a few days now and I would say that it is almost as good as the Autobox Pursuit. But however, it does have some drawbacks which I'll be mentioning later through this video. Okay, so let's take a look at the box itself so you can see LifeProof Next dirt plus drop proof so it basically has the same characteristic as the autobox pursuit so you can see survives drops from two meters blocks dirt dust snow and debris so you can see this is for the 11 pro max because they do make it for the 11 pro and the 11 as well so you can see new thin design big life proof logo right here so this is the next can see this is the basically the same highlights of the case as what we went through in front so i wanted to give a big shout out to life from malaysia for sending me out a review you need to test and also give you my honest opinion so let's take out the case from the package very easy to take off so inside this box you do get a microfiber cleaning cloth as well so that's about it okay so let's put the package to the side let's take a look at the case I don't have a sample of the Autobox Pursuit right now with me, but I wish I had so I could have shown you a comparison. But anyways, okay, let's take a look at the back portion of this case. You can see there's actually a rubber gasket going around the camera lens to prevent dust and debris from getting into the back of the clear case. Because you know, clear cases do attract a lot of dust. Also, the sides here are actually silicone or TPU, I should say. So it helps absorb impact. When you do drop your phone i do like the toggle here for your mute and ring switch this is something i like over the autobox pursuit because autobox pursuit does not have this okay what else do we have the bottom has some mesh to prevent dust from getting in this is not a waterproof case however because they haven't come up with the life proof fray yet but i would be getting my hands on that when it does come into the market Okay, so you can see this nice clear back. As you know, with all clear backs, they do scratch up. Let's take a look at the front portion of this case. You can see right here, there's actually a gasket running around the screen portion. So to prevent any dust from getting into the phone itself. So it's basically just something that goes over the phone. Very straightforward, easy to install. Okay, so let's install the phone in this case, shall we? So it's very simple. I like to go bottoms first. That's my style of installing the phone in this style of cases. See, very simple. Better to check if the toggle switch is working. You can see it's working fine. Then let's step on the front portion. So you go around clipping it up. You can see this nice snap. Okay, so let's check the tactility of the button. So you can see the power button. No problems right there. A bit harder to press than I would have liked. But this will guarantee there are no accidental presses. Volume buttons work perfectly. I've already shown you the toggle right here. At the bottom, I do like these kind of flaps which cover the lightning port. Because I really hate dust getting into the lightning port and having troubles later on through the lifespan of the device. So I do like that. Some people do not like that because it's kind of inconvenience, where especially when charging the device. But I do use wireless charging, so I wish I'll be showing it to you later. So you can see, nice flap here. The flap is very easy to open. You can see the cutouts for the mic as well as for the speaker. So on the back, you can see there's a generous cutout for your camera. And also you can see the beautiful back of the iPhone 11s. I do like clear cases, even though they do attract a lot of fingerprints. 
Okay, what else do we have? Basically, that's it, and there's a gasket running around, so you can see it doesn't obstruct any of the functions of your device. Very simple, very easy to use. Okay, so let me test out wireless charging. Let me grab my wireless charger, and I'll be right back. Alright, so guys, I'm back with my wireless charger. This is uh, basically a generic wireless charger. It will work with all wireless chargers because this is actually not that thick. Okay, so let's try it on. See right here, it charges no problem. Let me show you that again. So what I like about this case is that it does the job. If you compare with the Autobox Pursuit, of course, I do prefer the internal construction of the Autobox Pursuit. But this is not too bad because there is actually a TPU lining at the corner of the back portion of this case as well as the front because there is actually a gasket going around. So when you drop your device, those are going to basically absorb the impact and spread it out through the case. And I do like the dust covers as well. I'm a fan of dust covers. And I love the toggle switch as well. Big fan of that. Okay, things I don't like about this case is basically the Autobox Pursuit has something I really love, which is basically being able to redirect the bottom speaker to the front because there's actually a chamber which reroutes the speaker. It does improve immersiveness when watching videos or playing games. And this doesn't have that. So that's one major drawback for me because I do love front firing speakers. Okay, one more thing is I don't like is that this case, I don't know whether this is a defective case, this defective unit which I have, but there's some give right here at the corner. I'm not sure about that because the previous version of the next which I used had a bit of this issue, but not as bad as this one. Feels like the top portion of this case is not that secure. But I'll give my feedback to LifeProof regarding this issue. And one more thing is that the buttons on this case are pretty hard to press. Yes, of course, you won't get accidental touches, but it's pretty hard. And you know, the design of this rubber strip is basically very thin, so it actually digs into your, your finger when you press. But of course, it does a job. I haven't had any issues with the buttons. Overall, this is a good case. I can highly recommend it. I will leave the links for this case in the description below if you're interested to buy one for yourself. Okay, so that wraps up our video. Stay tuned for more videos just like this and I'll see you guys in the next one.